And if you signed up for one of the programs around the Metroplex, like Branch Up Dallas, you're fixing to get a container-grown tree, and this is the way to ensure long-term survival. Hi, I'm Amy with Texas Tree Surgeons, a board-certified master arborist, and today we're planting trees. It seems like you should just be able to stick it in the ground and it grows well like the forest, but we're not in a forest, we're in the middle of the city. When you're planting your tree, you need to take care in the initial steps that it's done correctly so that you don't see the effects of poor planting years later and that ultimately lead to the tree's demise. When choosing your tree for planting, you're gonna wanna start smaller than larger. I understand the tendency to want a big tree right off the bat that looks beautiful, but for long-term success, the smaller you start and the simpler the process is, the healthier that tree is gonna be 20 years from now. So most of the trees you're gonna get in the Metroplex for planting are gonna be in, grown in a container. And the biggest issue with that is all the roots have grown around themselves rather than outwards. They've been growing in limited space and in a material that is usually a synthetic medium, not a natural soil. And so what you're gonna first wanna do is go through the root ball there's really not too much you can do to damage it at this point. You can get as aggressive as you want. You can take out all of the planting medium and get your tree down to a bare root system, or you can do root pruning, which is to remove the circular roots wrapping around itself. The roots can't go outwards and start strangling itself. You're gonna get a limit in the nutritional uptake to the rest of the tree. So it's gonna stop growing at about three, four, five years and then start its decline system. Second, you're gonna to wanna to start digging your hole. You're gonna to wanna to make that about two to three times larger than the container or the size of your root ball. Depth of the tree will be based on where the top of the trunk hits the ground. So you want the root flare area right above grade with the earth. You're not gonna want it too deep because you'll suffocate the tree and you're not gonna want it too high because you'll have roots exposed too high in the dirt. The third step is putting the tree in the hole and you're gonna wanna make sure that you lay the roots out lengthwise. And then you're gonna wanna backfill that hole with a mix of compost and native soil that's there. The best way to do this is with a hose. And so have your hose running, it'll simulate the natural layers of the soil and fill all the spaces that have been compacted in there. The last step for this is going to be two inches of hardwood mulch. This is going to also make a difference in long-term survival. It's going to be providing nutrients back into the soil and simulating a forest floor, which is always the best environment for a tree. At Texas Tree Surgeons, we love trees in our community. We're always happy to help and plant as many trees as you can.